Hi there, my name's Austin, and today I want to tell you about one of my favorite tools. This ice pick I stole when I was 16 years old from my grandmother's shed. As an aspiring surfboard builder, I used it for uh, every day for pulling pieces of tape that were covered with resin, or for basically any, any little job that I needed to pick at or get things out of, like a fin box screw or things like that. So. Once I retired from building surfboards, I realized that I was still using this every single day. And uh, they're just becoming so handy. So today, we're gonna build a Damascus spalted maple replacement. Stick around. As you can see, this piece of steel is giving me quite a bit of trouble. I'm having to constantly forge weld it back together. So if you can see the bandage on my hand, I had a little mishap here. I have two disc sanders that I use, and they happen to spin in opposite directions. So when I went to press the scale wood against it, it shot it up out of my hand, and I jammed my finger into the uh, disc sander for a little while. 
so you notice that I edited out that footage to uh, save the gore. So when you get a drill through like this, be smart and use a backer. Don't be an idiot like me and uh, blow out the back of the wood using the drill. So right here you can see I pull it out of the uh, ferric chloride and then I'm spraying it down with a neutralizing compound off camera uh, before I put it into the instant coffee mixture. BLO goes down smooth. That's boiled linseed oil. This pick is perfect for using as a scratch all for leather work punching holes in leather or other material. And if you happen to drop a uh, screw into your slag bucket for your grinder, uh, it's way better to use this than to stick your freaking finger in there. Mm -hmm. 